easier than a phone. Anyway. He he has a computer. What? Yep. Oh. I didn't know that. Uh, can you hear me? That's good to know. I suppose. Can you hear me? I don't know. Can we? I don't know. Can you? I don't know. Sure. You're the one who's got the uh, mic levels and uh, shit going on. No, I don't. It's just yeah. a figment of your imagination. Oh, okay. Well, that sucks. <laughs> My imagination sucks, then. <laughs> Why? Uh, what you tell me? I can't answer that for you. Oh, okay. Okay. It's so like how the answer to life is 42. We're going to talk about the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I pulls up a calculator on Google when you type that in. And what? the answer is 42. <laughs> what does 42 mean in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Did what? they use did they say 42 in that movie? Yeah, they did. Yep. Did they? The answer to the universe, life and everything. The answer is 42. Okay. Well, I was up there when the answer was or when the question was muttered, but I didn't hear any answer. Oh. I think it's based on a true story though. I thought it was too. I don't know though. I just pulled it off to me ass. Yeah. Ass. You and try not touching this either. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. It's very sensitive. Okie pokey. See, now I got him saying okie yes, pokey now. Do. <laughs> That's why what? I said that right before did, I went upstairs. Did you get him to say that? Yep. Okay. Yes. Oh, so it's your fault. It's my fault. I'm loud over here. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you are. <laughs> Playing vidges in the middle of a thing. Well, we haven't started, have we? Who who knows? Maybe we have. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, so we were... Well, fuck you! Okay, then. Fuck oh, me. so we want to turn the main light off. Why? Because it's annoyingly yeah, bright. Not it. I can't go over there. You guys are in the way. So between you three. I had mine up there first. I don't care who. <laughs> Just <laughs> someone. Well, the then switch? you gotta turn that one off too. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> it's upstairs. <laughs> you just have to go up the stairs. Again. The light up. <laughs> love you, Timmy. We love you. Uh -huh. Remember that. Of course, we send the guy with the bad knees to do it. God. We're just assholes. <laughs> We're just, well, what it, the hell's the matter with you guys? This is really, really bad bureaucracy. Thomas, you didn't think it was through. How did I not think this? Oh, turn? sure. Blame it on Tom. Blame I didn't tell him to go off. turn the light off. I told one of you three to go turn the light off. I was unaware of his condition. You know about his knee. How did you not know about my motherfucking knee? I don't know. I hardly talk to you. Unless... Oh! It's true. I hardly sad talk to you. Dick. <laughs> oh, <come laughs> Tom the asshole. <laughs> Okay, if you knew about his bad knee, you're the asshole for not going up <laughs> and grabbing the damn light. So don't give me that shit. <laughs> I'm trying to get him to and work I, it out. And <laughs> I have boobs, so I mean, you know. Is that how that works? <laughs> Women's suffrage and all that. Women's <laughs> suffrage. So no equality, just suffrage. I'm oh property, God. remember? <laughs> okay, I'm going to read this, this thing because it interests me. Okay. It says in his in his novel, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, nineteen seventy nine, Mr. Adams describes how an alien race programs a computer called Deep Thought to provide the ultimate answer to life, the universe, and everything. After seven and a half million years, calculation came back to the answer forty two. In slightly less time, two years, a team at the Cavendish Laboratory has managed the same feat using a new technique to estimate the value of the Hubble constant. This measures how quickly objects in the universe are receding from each other, a natural outcome of the Big Bang that created the universe. Dr. Richard Saunders, who led the research, sounded a trifle abashed by the results. We have taken two measurements for the constant, and the average of them is, well, it's 42. <laughs> but he insisted this is entirely f fortuitous. So thousands of fans of the Hitchhiker's novel might disagree. That's weird. What? That it's coincidental. Coincidental. Mm -hmm. Coincidentally, yes. Mm, yes. Mm. Yes. Mm, yes. I don't know. Mm, Why do we all really think that, it? you know, the, the secret to life is 42? Because sure, a computer told you and a novel said it as well, I guess. 
Well, if it's on the internet. <laughs> if it's, it's on, on the internet. If it's on the internet, it must be true. Well, and I watched it on TV. So, I mean, it must there, be true. We it's have... Too, right? We have two reputable sources. And it's in a book. Oh, who? Cool. Yeah. So, I mean, in this day and age. It's in three, hmm? no. three books? Three sources. Three sources. <laughs> oh. The internet, a book, and a movie. And a movie. We saw it on TV. Okay. So it has to be right. Right. It has to be true. Come on, dude. <laughs> yeah. Whatever, man. Go with the program, man. I was going to say, wait a minute. Isn't human DNA made out of 42 chromosomes or something like that? And I'm like, no, wait. That's 23. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. What? Although if it was 42, that, oh, geez. If it was 42, oh, yeah, that would have been impressive. I think there are animals out there that have 42 chromosomes, but I kind of have mice. Mice? <laughs> Should we look up to see how many yeah, chromosomes mice let's have? See. Let's see if there's a correlation there. <laughs> Spelled it wrong. <laughs> chromosomes? Bruh. Mice have 20 chromosomes in their haploid genome, thus 40 chromosomes in all. Oh. That was close. close. Very okay. close. Type in what has 42 chromosomes then. Okay. Because I'm just, I'm just curious. Biology fascinates me. DNA fascinates me. Um. Okay, give me a list of things, but I don't think that's correct. Give you a list of things? List of organisms by chromosome count. There we go. There you go. See? Oh, it won't let me sort it. Okay. Well, there's a lot here, so it might take me a while. Somebody introduce Timmy to the podcast. Oh, um, this is Timmy. Hello, beautiful bastards. Uh, <laughs> he's been in many of our, uh, uh, d d videos. Gaming yes. recordings. Well, Game recordings. I know there's been a couple game recordings. There's been a lot. Well, usually you've gone to every single tournament. So, I mean, you Every know. tournament, uh, a few game recordings. D&D, &D, when we did D&D &D on uh, streaming. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. A couple of times we did it. Right. Oh, yeah, that's right. D &D. That was a lot of fun. It was fun. I, I don't know. It, it was a lot of fun. If anybody wanted D&D &D to come back in some fashion, it probably wouldn't be a live stream. Or at least not like a video live stream, because that was just a pain in the ass. Yeah, you know? no. It would probably be a podcast. Yeah. Either yeah. a podcast we or we podcast could do like an it. audio live stream of that. That'd be fun. Like okay. a couple of YouTubers, like um, Gabe Grums and um, Team Four Star do podcast D&Ds. Yep. Most of them do. No, I don't. I think Game Grumps podcast or their D and D was super successful. There was a thing about that where around that time that uh, uh, D and D wasn't a very successful thing to try. Well, yeah, because everybody was doing it. Because um, once yeah. Fifth Edition came out, everybody wanted to record it. Yeah, because like well, yeah, my feed in YouTube just like blew up with like D and D shit. It still does, but only from yeah, certain but channels. Is that because you started watching D and D, or did it show up on its own? Both. So, that is the ultimate like, question. Some of it did actually just show up on its own, like um, like it is, five things that people do wrong for Fifth Edition characters and. We're going to talk about it. Because it is, everything related to YouTube and Google is typically based on your search history and stuff like that. Well, so if you search I know anything D&D &D related, YouTube's probably going to come up with something. No, I know that because it plays the fucking gorillas like 18 times over now because I went through like four weeks of listening to them nonstop. Now I can't get them out of my YouTube feed. That's pretty good stuff though. Oh yeah. Okay. I mean, I like their new stuff. So I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna okay. interrupt with this. Uh, so come on, wait, oh, back to <laughs> <him>. what? <laughs> so, so what we were previously talking about? So the fossa, it's a type of almost like cat type thing. Mufasa. Fossa. Mufasa. Oh, like a... sure? Whoopsies! I, I didn't mean to do that. It well, maybe cats like a bad example. Whoa, jeez. Like kind of oh, it says is a cat-like carnivorous mammal. Endemic to Madagascar. Okay, so it's kind of like a. What would you call that? So it's a wild. It's cat. like a cougar, kind of. No, like a, something a stalker, smaller, stockier. I want to say ferret. I think ferret is what I'm thinking of. Ferret. That thing is bigger, big. bigger than a ferret, obviously. Fisher. Like, like a very large a ferret. 
It's like a fisher. Fisher. Okay. Okay, anything ah, that we recognize? Closely related to the mongoose family. Yeah, it's a fisher. Yeah. Boom. Of Madagascar. Uh, there's a giant panda. Oh, so pandas. There you go. They oh. have 42 chromosomes. Yay! Oats, which is a plant, if you didn't get that. Uh, a raccoon <laughs> dog. Don't ask me. Oh, boy. Uh, raccoon dog? What the fuck? Rats, which is interesting because they were talking about mice, so... It kind okay, of related, it's not really. Not really. <laughs> I mean, they're related, but I mean they're of the same family. Yes, rats are same way big. Rats are way bigger than mice, though. Uh, Just saying. I'm gonna totally screw this name over, but Reese's monkey. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Is that? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what it's called. Okay. It's like this tiny little monkey. It's got the big eyes and it's kind of furry. Uh, or is that a different? Yeah, one? it's a You're different furry. one. Small, oh, small no, eyes. No, no. It's, it's, it's a little fat, okay. little chubbier. It's a, it's an Arctic monkey. I small, think. but chubbier. It's like an Arctic monkey, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I've been out of the animal game for a long time. So, Wheat, you know. Also, cocksuckers. cocksuckers. There is. I don't think they have forty-two chromosomes. Wolverine. Wolverine, really? <laughs> nice. And so is it Wolverine the animal or the metal cow guy? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> yeah, that's interesting though, because how many chromosomes would he have? Because he's oh a mutant. A that's, more, that's I would assume. True. Well, definitely Plus, more. His ability is also healing. Excuse right. Me. Well, so. Well, it's either <laughs> he has more chromosomes or the, what, the explanation they gave in the X Men is the chromosomes themselves have mutated. Right, uh, so they got replaced. In the chromosomes. So, yeah. so there's not extra, it's just mutations in them, which is why they're called mutants. Yes, but there are also mutations where you get extra chromosomes too. So I mean, because I mean, look at people that have both genders. Technically they have XX. Wait, people are born like that? Yes, people are born like that. People are born I with... I had no idea. Uh, people are born with uh, a set of X's and a Y chromosome. So just one, essentially... Just one Y? Yeah, just one Y. Well, well I think I think there might be some with two Ys, but I, hmm. I forget what the condition is called. I wonder how many chromosomes Deadpool has. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, my huh. scrolling Thomas, feature. Well, your, well, we know uh, that his DNA has been destroyed. Would you not over the thingy? You can bleep it out. <laughs> I Jeez. can, but now you're making work for me. <laughs> Everybody, I'm sure, the I'm Wi Fi sorry network that name in is. The, on the internet's going, come. <laughs> Drive all the way here. They don't need to. That's the thing. Well, first off, do they know the uh, address? No. So there you go. You're fine. So, I mean... Want to know the thing with the most chromosomes? Yeah. <laughs> what? My scrolly thing is broken now. Uh, so I have touch screen. Uh, I do too. Deleted so protozoa. There you go. You said the thing. As 119,000 times, I don't know what that means, but it says like squiggly 30 million. So that means about so about thirty, 30 million. million. Really? Those things are there's not the like really tiny thing. What is it? It's a type of organism. added protozoa. So yeah, it, protozoa is microscopic. Right. Holy shit. Interesting. Right. Hair like organellas. Organellas. So basically, a kind of microorganism. Is this yep. where celiac disease comes? In? Just kidding. No, that's a whole <laughs> different topic. Well, I know. <laughs> I kind of want to know how many chromosomes Wolverine has. Oh, now my scurly thing came back. That's weird. It was broken on that page. It was broken. It was disabled. That makes on the no page. sense. <laughs> That's weird. It was just kind of so, like fucking. I was. Um, I'm on my YouTube channel and. Um, Your well, original? Wow. Yeah, my original. Well, I always get on my original one, and I, some things I, I used to watch was um, Death Battle on Screw Attack. Yep. I don't know what that is. It's pretty much a good two characters from whatever universe mm -hmm. so and like, do like the math and I'd see who will win the death battle and they'll actually show a video of them fighting. So it's like uh, Deadpool versus uh, Deathstroke. I yep, that's I, actually on my page right now. Isn't that like who won you decide or something like that at the end? No. Is that no? No, okay. no it shows who won. It actually shows who won and why. Oh, oh that's weird. Be in the Deadpool versus Deathstroke, Deadpool won. Because, granted, yes, Deathstroke does have a healing factor. 
it's very minute and it's not it doesn't Dead. work as fast as Deadpool. Oh, okay. And, and um, also Deadpool had the sword that, that could actually kill off Wolverine, which nullifies healing abilities, which he used against Deathstroke. That doesn't <laughs> it's sound never... like original. In a comic, it goes through the but... comics actually. Oh, it that's does. Interesting. And at one point, he had a you sword guys that killed read? Wolverine. You get, yes, yes. You guys got to read the comic book series. Uh, Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe. Because it goes in detail on how to kill all the invulnerable uh, Marvel characters like Luke Cage, Wolverine. He even knows how to kill himself. Well, that's, well, that's on Deadpool too. I, I think <laughs> I think Deadpool would know how to how to kill himself. Well, without the without the device. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh shit. How's life? Pretty damn good. Oh, yeah. Wolverine. You're getting better day by day. Oh, well, that's good. Mine's Wolverine has. Tw so, all the Marvel people have 23 chromosomes. Oh, they, just, okay. they, just, they just carry a mutated part. So. I'm surprised that there's a thing any... that you can look that up with. Well, it's, 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 it's in the I mean, I'm in the Marvel database. I mean, it's a Wikipedia, so I mean, you know, it might be canon, it might be it's, not. I don't Well, freak these are all know. fictional characters anyways, so I guess it's... Well, yeah, I know, but it, it, it's... No, it stuff... interests me that it's even a thing that exists on the internet talking about the chromosomes right. of characters <laughs> like, where are in you a comic book. <laughs> and if you right really want to know... <laughs> oh, God. The, the the X gene is carried by females, I think. It's carried, yep, it's carried, it's carried, carried on the female side. <laughs> it's carried by both of them because in the womb, all we're all female until the X chromosome takes over. And then we develop a uh, okay. male junk. Gotcha. Well, yeah, because... Why determines it? Junk. Well, why? I don't know what the hell. Like, well, fuck it. Why we determines develop a penis it? and testicles. Well, and also testosterone. All and the good well, stuff. Well, females have testosterone too. Right, mm -hmm. but it's larger. Males have estrogen. So. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Boom. Science. You, you guys can feel. Sometimes. I no. Have all of the feels. All of the feels. Well, I'm dead girl, inside. Well, the last girl I was <laughs> killed my feels. <laughs> Last girl I was will killed my feels. Aww. Aww. All right, moving on. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, let's stop talking about I'm dead inside and. <laughs> okay, here's the I greatest. Just, I just thought it was interesting. Here's the greatest question known to man. Oh God, no. If cheetahs had six legs, six legs, would they be faster or would they be slower? Slower. What was that? <laughs> If what? If cheetahs had six legs, would they be faster or slower? Slower. Sorry, I can't talk very well because I was. I had, a, I had a thing done to my mouth. You have yes, a thing gaps in your between his teeth, it. everybody. You have a dick in your mouth. Okay. Gonna take this dick. Don't tell everybody that. <laughs> That's the secret, okay? That's the secret. They're not allowed to know. You're gonna take this dick. You're gonna, gonna take, take this dick. You're was, gonna take this. I was gonna make a gonna dick and mouse it. sound, but You're I shouldn't. Take my mouth hurts. You want that dick in your <laughs> vagina? What the hell? It's from the movie Wanderlust with Paul Rudd. God, he he <laughs> said. Okay, no, no, he's got to see it. He, what he, are okay, you talking about? Timmy sent me a trailer You're, to this movie called Wanderlust. He's about to see it. It's what is it called? Fucking Wanderlust. terrible. <laughs> You're just about to watch it. You're about to watch it. It makes mm -hmm. you go, "What the fuck is this movie?" <laughs> but I kind of want to see it. <laughs> I'm a little frightened. But uh, back to your question. What about cheetahs? Yeah, I think they would move slower, wouldn't they? Because um, I don't know. Because I've had, I've known a couple of three-legged cats, and they're pretty damn quick. Well, with more legs, they'd be slower. Centipedes, they have how many legs? They're not. They're nowhere near as fast as anything. Even with uh, two legs, well, they're yeah, nowhere near as fast be. as us. Okay, here's a response. True. Uh, this would likely depend on the position of the extra legs. Mid-abdomen insect style would add weight and be designed for stability over man maneuverability. Right. But a second pair of powerful hind legs would add enough thrust to overcome the additional weight while likely decreasing one's ability to pivot. This would, however, be detrimental to a cheetah's already very taxed metabolism. So, yeah, it would either way... It would It'd just destroy the cheetah, basically. Either way. <laughs> All right, here you go, Tom. I think it would become more like a tank. It's harder to steer, but 
Well, it'd be slower. So, anyways, so it'd be like a rhino, basically. Yeah. Just a lot quicker. Hey guys, just wanted to throw this in here. Timmy here is showing me a little snippet from Wanderlust, uh, and we got to a point where we just kind of were talking about a particular actor that I thought would make a better role in the movie for one of the characters. So, uh, yeah, there you go. What's his name from that? Uh, it's, uh, it's not Superstore, whatever that. Supernatural? No, it's a retail movie. Oh. The retail movie? Yeah, whatever. Employee the, of the month. Yeah, employee of the month. What, Never seen it. What's the dude's name from that? I dad. It is um. I know it. I know this. I know He's this. He's a famous comedian. Yeah. Dan I'm Cook. Dan the Cook. There we go. Dan Cook would be a really good. Oh yeah, that's person right. Person for that. Okay. Yeah. I haven't heard hilarious. anything new about Dan Cook. Uh, Me no, either. I, I don't know. He doesn't really. After come up with they, the Employee of the Month movie, he did a couple more comedy tours, and that was it. Then he just kind of fell off again. Yeah. He might have been blacklisted. Been. Wait, what does blacklisted mean? Hollywood no longer wants anything to do with you. Just like uh, Sean William Scott. And offended somebody. Just like uh, <laughs> well, Sean William Scott. That doesn't surprise Scott. me though. <laughs> His last movie, I believe, was... No, it was actually oh, Goon, but between Goon and his last movie, it was like fucking ten years damn near. I there's think. either a new one coming out, or... It's called The American Meme. I don't know if it's been out yet. <laughs> the American Meme? What yeah. kind of movie title is that? So it's April 27th. So it was probably in theaters at some point. The American Meme? Mm -hmm. What the f... The American meme follows the journeys of four shocking social media disruptors. Paris Hilton, Josh Stravos, what? Oh. Ostrovsky. Ostrovsky. Uh, Brittany Furlan and Kimo something. So Cow Return comes out next week. Ooh. No, I, I shall return. The fifth one? Yes. Sixth one. Sixth one. See, I can't remember if it's five or six. Ooh, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> This movie could be funny, but it looks stupid. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I don't... I don't know. What's your... Uh, well, I know Tom is your favorite. Thomas, what is your favorite Soul Calibur character? Uh... Who cares? Uh, uh, who cares? Uh, that's a good answer. <laughs> who gives a shit? <laughs> yeah, because you get your ass kicked Yoda. every time any... Yoda! Any, <laughs> actually, yeah, Yoda did make an appearance in one of them. Yeah, I think it was four. So, no, Soul Calibur 3. Oh. Must have been the third one I had. Soul I don't know. I don't remember which one I had. I, I just remember either. I had one of them. Nope, it wasn't it was... Soul Calibur 3. Pretty sure it was 4. Oh. I feel was like it was 4. Because I feel like we had 4. Mm -hmm. And then 5 for Xbox 360, and now the 6th one is coming out. Even though I didn't play the 5th one a lot, I did mess with a lot of settings. Uh, or like. Have been... Customizations, I don't know. Character from the Star Wars franchise appearing in playable character in the 360 version of Soul Calibur 4. Oh, okay, so yeah. Soul Calibur 4. So that was. Because I know. <laughs> um, it was Soul Calibur 4, they did where each um, franchise had a special character. Like PlayStation had um, a person from Tekken. On 4? Yeah. Okay. You could buy Yoda for five dollars on the PlayStation Three later on. on yeah. Soul Calibur and 4. um, I think Xbox had Yoda, and then um, I think I think one of them had Darth Vader. We had the three sixty version. Such a butt measure. <laughs> Still kicked your ass. I tried to learn the actual techniques and combos. Learning and is for later. Button mashing is when you start out. On a, new, on a new character, and then you go, oh yeah, this combination Soul does Calibur this. Four, yeah. uh, Dar Darth Vader made a new appearance. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Sounds Same with his apprentice. Because I think Yoda has had his own like story line or something in that game. Uh, most of them do. Yeah. Yeah, because I think I think it was the third one or something had Link in it. Well, I think the fourth one did too, but um. Link even had his own storyline. Granted, you had to read it, but you know. Hmm. 
That's okay. What are you drawing? I'm just doodling. That's all I'm doing. Oh. Keeps my brain preoccupied, and then I'm I don't just surfing just, the web. You know, I don't just like randomly wander off. I can talk and doodle at the same time. So, you know, well, we talk about different things, and then I'm not constantly trying to interrupt people. So, was that a shot at me? No, that was a shot at myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> you looked at me, and you said it so like sternly. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. I just. I interrupted the last time a couple of times, so it just oh, seemed like it, it was could a have been shot a subconscious thing. Then, yeah. sorry, I apologize. Would dragons shit in the sky like birds, or shit on the ground like lizards? <laughs> <laughs> well, according to Ark, they just shit whenever. <laughs> this is true. Doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure they would just shit whenever. I mean, it's just like with dogs, like, and like anything else, like birds shit when they're land well landed in the trees but they also shit in the sky like hmm. i mean although that'd be kind of crazy all of a sudden dragon flies by and you get a whole like fucking pile of shit on top of you <laughs> i love this response i'd hope they would shit in the air imagine if it were on fire about to fall on your house oh god <laughs> and then oh. the one below that is always converted to fire <laughs> so what you drinking there tim Crown Royal Apple and Sprite. Oh. It just sounds like a candy apple drink or something. It actually is super sweet. Does it tastes like super candy good. apple? Uh, you can't. No. Well, it's I shouldn't. Like, no, you shouldn't. <laughs> I've been popping pain pills like say, you can't yeah, believe. No, never mind. Not Tom. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, you get a root canal and a crown stuck on it in the same day, and you just like you just hate life a little bit. Wait, how many pills have you been popping? I think I've only had uh, today probably six. Okay, good. In total. I still have the good stuff upstairs. I'm good. Well, they gave me a prescription for Vicodin, but right. I... Oh, that's. He's trying. He's trying to be manly about it. Though. It doesn't hurt that much. The only thing I've ever had to have Vicodin for was an ear infection, and that thing hurt so goddamn much. Oh, it was basically screaming my the whole time. My mom was taking me to the ER in the middle of the night. Yeah, makes sense. Try yeah. having a freaking two dentins dentists freaking yanking at your tooth for an hour while you're just sitting there like oh fuck my life that's why they that's why i had them knock me out screw that that sleep was good i don't remember it though <laughs> i just know i was tired before i walked in and i slept like a baby <laughs> try having a gallbladder try having a gallbladder attack that's that's fucking awesome man I should give you some sleeping pills what gave me sleeping pills? I don't know. What? Maybe it'd, maybe it'd be better than screaming in agony. Well, well, they put me on pain meds when they parted me off in the ambulance, which was a fucking joke. Yup. <laughs> you know. Which the whole ambulance thing is freaking ridiculous. Uber. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, don't get trucked in an ambulance if you don't have insurance. Yep. That's just a bad idea. You're going to pay... Well, even if you have insurance. Insurance doesn't cover ambulance. No. Yeah, they do. Some no, of them they do. don't. Some do. I've Some. never seen it not. I was about to get hit by like um, $1,300 for an ambulance ride. from Just going a couple miles from the accident. I'm like, um, I'm not paying this. And they're like, yeah, you are. I'm like, um... No, my car insurance should pay for this. The person that hit me should pay for this. Hmm. I shouldn't have to pay for this. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. See, we didn't, you know, we thought it might be my appendix blowing, though. That was the situation. Yeah. Hmm. Is because Is I that was what they told you when you were in the ambulance? Or no, that... that's when we were sitting in there and I was sitting, when I was sitting in the passenger seat of the Jeep and we had the cop. Oh, that's right. He He's like, well, it, it could be that. And I was like, well, I'm in a lot of fucking pain right now. And I've been in pain for over four hours. Like, I'm about to have a kid. <laughs> like, it's what so I... Give me a goddamn ambulance or give me to the fucking hospital. Yeah, pretty much. That was basically about it. Like, I couldn't even sit down. I was in Yeah, so much and I pain. got pulled over for a stupid... Out of date tab on my damn license plate. Right? And he's like, is she okay? Apparently no, not. No, I'm not fucking no, okay. No, motherfucker, I ain't okay. You damn bastard. 
<laughs> We're going to the hospital because I'm in a lot of pain. And besides like, that, besides that, all due respect to the police. No, right. the dude was cool. Like, he was like, you know, obviously we're not gonna ticket you or anything. You know, do what you want, right? Type thing. And I was like, okay, that's Cause, fine. Because obviously it was an emergency situation. But mm -hmm. the whole time, like that whole week, I was dead to the world because I had so much overtime at work. Right. So, and I felt completely shitty. Because you were in pain and it seemed like I didn't care because my mind was not there. <laughs> nope. At all. You were sleeping while and I was even, in the I was thinking about it too. Like he was talking about the ambulance and I'm like, she doesn't have insurance right now. This is going to be really bad. <laughs> I couldn't make a decision at all. I couldn't say anything. I just, at that point, I wasn't like, there. At that point, what she showed him has been like, just give me a fucking escort to the goddamn hospital. No, he was like... He even said, like, I'll just let you go to the hospital if you just want to go, otherwise I'll call an ambulance. And Right. I... And I basically had to make the decision whether or not I wanted to go to the ambulance. Well, I'm in a lot of fucking pain, and if I think I'm about to die, fuck yeah, I'm gonna go with the ambulance, because they're gonna get there faster. Right. <laughs> it made sense at the time, but, you know, getting the bill afterwards, you're like, holy fucking balls. <sighs> Which... That was fun. Yeah. Okay, I actually looked it up. It, it says hmm. it will cover if it's um, medically re re uh, relevant. relevant. I might medically what relevant. The... What? How is medical. it not? Med <laughs> if I'm calling a motherfucking ambulance, how the fuck is it not medically <laughs> goddamn if relevant? If it's medically relevant, so <laughs> I I don't. Know. So funny. if you're dying. So your so shit, if, what was your issue that you had? But they rely on the medical necessity when determining the reimbursement. So if you're not dying, if you're just in a lot of pain. So right. if she had surgery and insurance, she wouldn't have had a, a bill for the ambulance. Is exactly. basically what that's saying. But gotcha. if she was just in pain then right. and, and her life anything. wasn't threatened, she would still have to pay. The insurance would not cover. Well, cocksucker. Right, but at that time we didn't know if my life was in danger or not. I know. So yeah. how so are you gonna like, determine that? Yeah, yeah, you're, you're, Welcome you're, to you're America. Like a damn coin. <laughs> you're not a doctor. <laughs> you're fucking kidding me. You know, in, in fucking Germany, I, I I saw a video of this. Um, ambulance rides cost you about forty bucks. The <laughs> gas. <laughs> All of there. Well, I mean, I get that because it's just gas. Yeah, yeah I don't you pay your gas money to take you there. You know, I would have done the same thing. I mean, you know, taking somebody to the hospital, but you just owe me gas money. America, it's, it's, it's all about them dollars, though. It's because big pharmacies opportunity and people suffer. Yep, pretty much. They're like, hey, we're able to capitalize and make Germany, money. They off do the you. same things that we do in America. It's because the people rule over in Germany. Not the government. I'm not saying I overthrow the government. I'm not saying overthrow them. I don't think that's true, actually. Just whatever. Let's do anarchy. Let's do it now. <laughs> Shit, at this point, I think we fucking need it. But anyways, off topic. Let's not get into... Let's not... Here. No, no, no po political not debates. We're just here to just talk about random shit. Well, it is democratic, I guess, but... It is. Yeah. No, it's because the people know when they have the right to refuse something. Like, in Germany, they decided to hike up the gas bill, the gas prices, to five fifty or somewhere around there. Like, stupid expensive, right? Yeah. Right. People left important. their fucking cars on the goddamn highway. Yeah. There is nowhere in Germany that have enough that has enough uh, tow uh, impounds to store, store all those cars. So they lowered the gas prices back down. Damn. See? Because the people know that they have the power. Right. People have forgotten that here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's look at the Boston Tea Party. Yeah. That's very true. Yeah. <laughs> That's about all I got to ago? say. <laughs> That's all I got to say right now. Because, yeah, I yeah. just... Uh, anyway. Anyways. Enough politics. Enough, yeah. <laughs> enough political spiels. If my ex-girlfriend has a sex change, am I gay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Tom, if I had a sex change, would that make you gay? I would think so. I got one better for you. Okay. So, real life situation that I have. Oh, God. 
Well, not that I personally have, but it's like a family member's okay. family has this issue. So, so I got I got to try and keep it general. So give me a second here. So, species species. So the the I guess we'll say friend. We'll say friend. Okay. Friend. We'll call we'll call him her uh Lena. <laughs> Lena. We'll just uh, Okay. I'm editing out keep, names keep going. just you know. Keep going. So so Lena used to be Larry. And Larry had a son. Right? But Larry later You're on You're not using real names now, are you? I'm not using la- real names. Okay. <laughs> so and then Larry became Lena later on. And then yeah. also married someone named Right. Reggie, who oh, also Reggie. had a sex change. Wow. To uh, Rhonda. And they're married now. So, so it's two dudes that turned into two chicks, so what does that make them? Lesbian? Well, they, they're still gay, I guess. Well, obviously they're still gay, but I mean... Because they're, they're both like, chicks now, right? Yeah, technically they're both... Well, I think one's... Post up or pre-up? <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I think. <laughs> well, I know one's gonna be on hormones for the rest of their lives because they're just too old and their body can't adapt to it. Because I, I asked my friend about it and he said that we kind of got into the the technical side of it is that if you do a sex change way too, way too late in life, you end up taking hormones the rest of your life so you can keep that. That Probably. change, yeah. I think he said before the age of like well, okay, either or either something. gay or bi. Right. I don't know. I just thought I'd propose. Although bi that. would be more of like I'm attracted to both. Here's genders. the question: If your ex, as, as as soon as you split, becomes gay, were you just that bad in bed? Wow! Oh. <laughs> I would say it wouldn't have been. I, I knew a guy that that happened. He was oh. mar- he was married what? to his wife for so long, and then they decided to split. Well, she was still living with him at the time, but during that time, she became lesbian. Wow! Yeah, but I think that's an easier choice for girls. Well, hold on, hold on. No, yeah. no, no. Let me put in another's perspective, because I've actually gotten uh, straight to lesbian perspectives on this okay 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 <laughs> so if a woman goes from straight to lesbian after being in a relationship mm-hmm. it's because she didn't have the emotional attention if she cheats on you with a guy she didn't have the physical or sexual attention that she desired if she cheats on you with a woman she didn't have the emotional attention that you that she desired from you because she knows she goes to a woman she's going to get that and then she, she goes to a guy. And then if she cheats on you with both, then you know she didn't. If get she anything. cheats on you with both, man, <laughs> you're all sorts man, you just fuck. fucked up. You need to go reevaluate your goddamn life. That's all I'm gonna. I think that say still reinforces my thought of uh, for girls, for women, it's a choice to become lesbian rather than you're born it, with it. It can be, but it's, it can also be a choice for men to become gay. It's a choice both I ways. Some people are born like that. So. Yeah. Some people are born like that because, like I was saying, you know. There are people that, you know, have both chromosomes and I they're have... both wired to, you know, be one okay, or the other. Okay, what if I said it's more likely for women to become lesbian than it is likely for men to want to become gay later on? Well, so I believe that. It's more likely for men, if they're gay, to be born with it and maybe may or may not realize it until later. I can believe that, but here's my counterpoint <laughs> for that. Okay. It's more socially acceptable for a woman to be a lesbian than it is for a guy to be gay. It's harder for oh, a guy to come ain't out. Ain't that the goddamn truth? <laughs> it's harder for a guy to come out as gay than it is for a woman to come out as lesbian. Yeah. I agree. You see more lesbian couples than yeah. you do gay couples. Right. right. And that's just because it's more socially acceptable. Because oh, yeah. you see two girls and guys like, oh, damn, that's hot. You see two guys the guys like... Most oh, guys okay. are like, you stay the fuck away from here. I'm right. stabbing somebody. Of course, I... I myself, I'm like pro-choice, so I'm like, you know what, you do you. Exactly. Whatever as long as you do. don't fa- mess up with my life, as long I, as you I'm ain't, all good. As long as you ain't trying to put that shit on me, man, you live your life. I don't give a shit. Right. Okay, but what if it was happening under your roof? What? 
say you were living with somebody, with a guy, who was dating another guy, and they were having sex in your house. For me, I, I myself would be uncomfortable with that, just because it's new to me. Hearing two guys going at it, like let, let's face it, that's gonna be new to everybody here. But at the same time, <laughs> like I said before, pro yeah, choice. but you're like straighter than straight can be straight. <laughs> so for no, for you, you to, just have a good point though that yeah, you are no, you are like. So if you went to. I think, in the, if anything, Tom would be the one that has a few bends in him. But, you know. <laughs> I, I won't deny that I have a slight feminine aspect to, I can to see my Tim personality. going to a gay bar. And I, Christ be with you! Start throwing oh my water. God! Hell no! no. God damn! Oh no! Okay, I'm not my dad. Note Leave to self. Leave room for Jesus. <laughs> Leave room for Jesus. Note to self: Don't take Timmy to the gay bar. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. We love you, Tim. <laughs> Fuck that. No, I know you wouldn't react like that, but I know in your mind you'd be like, oh, wow, I can't believe I just saw that. No, I would I can't believe I walked into this I would be right very uncomfortable with it, just because, as, as women experience in any bar, guys would be putting themselves on her. Same thing with any straight guy going into a gay bar, or any guy going into a gay bar. So what would you do if a guy came on to you? I'd tell him, I'm not, I don't swing that way. Okay. So you'd just be polite about it. I'd be polite about it <laughs> because good. you know. Good I, answer. <laughs> it, it's, it's a gay bar. You know, it's, I, it's pretty much. You me put being, yourself in that exactly. situation, so it's kind of it, your own goddamn fault. Yeah. What happens? <laughs> so I, it, if I react violently, there is no doubt in my mind. I'm the oh, one to blame for that. You're gonna get kicked out so fast. Exactly. <laughs> but if somebody Start keeps. Holy water. <laughs> <laughs> that's the last resort. <laughs> 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 Well, at least it's a last resort, right? Oh my God. At least it's a last resort. The power of Christ compels you! The power of Christ compels you! <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm Jesus. going to hell. Oh, well, at least oh, it's warmer. At least it's warmer. Yeah, hey. <laughs> Jeez, yeah. It's warmer than what we're about to experience. Yeah, fucking snowfall. So I'm not Jesus putting Christ. up names, but like this person I da I'm dating, she's like, I'm going to be, I'm immortal. You know? I'm like, so why are you immortal? She's like, well... Heaven do doesn't want me, and hell thinks I'm going to take over. So I'm never going to die. Wow. <laughs> I'm oh, like that. I love that phrase. Oh, it's like I told my ex. I'm like, I'm going to be immortal too. She's like, why? Because I've been rejected from heaven, and Satan knows as soon as I get, as soon as I die, I'm coming for that fucking throne. <laughs> and there ain't no chance he's going to fucking win. I want to see you on that throne. I'd probably... After a party. <laughs> I'd oh, probably, yeah, party all the goddamn time, motherfucker. <laughs> I'd probably end up in heaven because I'm a sweet soul, and everybody tells me that. So, you know, I mean... Well, everybody tells me I'm yes, nice. Yes, no, maybe. Well, no. I mean... Oh. I, um, oh. So, so, to change the subject... I'm gonna go make myself another drink. Um, hey, you wanna give me some tea? Fuck off. Oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> two, uh, two, uh, two, two spoons of sugar. Yeah, I got you. Anyway, sorry. A coworker mm. mess, uh, messaged me today. I'm, she's like, I know you don't work at Walmart anymore. I, I know you don't work at Walmart. Right? But oh, we gotta hear this. Where is the triple check stickers? So I messaged back to her. She's like, and I'm like, well, I always kept them in the top top drawer. It's okay. easiest spot to put them in. Yeah. She's like, thanks. And she just messaged back, still, greatest boss ever. Aww. Aww. You're awesome. Aww, That's that cute. Yep. Aww. <laughs> as long as she was preaching 100 back. Uh, the other one. Uh, Starts with a d Oh. Oh, that one. Gotcha. Sounds I think like I, I know which one you're talking do about. I, do I know this person? Red hair? Oh, yep. yep there we go. Yep, 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 well, now you're going to make me bleep shit out. Okay, <laughs> it's fine. I know she watches it. Watches and listens to the shit. That's fine. No worries. Much love. Oh, you could just say, because I just said the last part. You could just edit that part out. Yeah. You don't have to bleep anything. Yeah, you'll be fine. Don't worry. It's okay. Actually, if well, you enjoy editing, don't during, lie. I do. <laughs> during the, the whole... more mistakes we make, the more you get to edit. So don't lie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have a lot of fun. I can. I literally see you on the couch. Like <laughs> you are like so focused, and I'm like I have never seen somebody. So focused on something. <laughs> it's like kind that. of a turn on, isn't it? A 
Wow. Yeah. Oh I'm like, God. holy crap. See? <laughs> It like, turns me on it, like too. I'm like, ooh, look is, at like, that. Literally <sighs> dedicated so on random. his work. <laughs> Everything that has shown the, other than the streams, Thomas puts it it's either one, two, if it's of Minecraft, it's three freaking weeks into that video. He does amazing freaking work. Right, and he works hard. <laughs> and he works Speaking really of hard. Minecraft stuff. Oh. I, I was start, I was rewatching that. Uh, Project Ozone. Yeah. <laughs> I am too. Yeah. I, I was rewatching it. It's just like, uh. I was rewatching it, and I was like picking out points where I could, where I could have changed or add something. <laughs> That's so fucked up. <laughs> I saw our intro, in, introduction. It's like, oh yeah, we have a new world. I smack you, and you're like, son of a bitch. <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> uh. It's just, I want to get back into the Minecraft videos. Yeah, no, they were fun. I hate to say it, but I can't get into Project Ozone. We don't have to play that again. Okay. We can do something else. Project Ozone, you don't want to get back into? No, I just I got bored with it. Okay. There, I'm it is ex kind of complicated. Yes. To do. Right. I would say we, if we are going to do another mod pack, we would pick one that's a little have a story. You know, I like you know the ones that I really liked that that uh, adventure story thing that you and I did that we never finished. I thought that shit was, like, super cool. Adventure story? Yeah, I don't remember exactly what it was about, but it was just like a like a puzzle story thing that you play through. Oh, yeah? There's actually, um... Well, we might be remaking videos from other YouTubers, but there's, like, ones with, there's puzzles that you have to solve, which I can, I'll send you links for. Okay. To watch, and like, oh, this would actually would seem interesting. Mm-hmm. It would probably be best for, like you and Deidre doing them, but we could look for videos like that that already has a story where we don't have to create something. We just we get put into a pre-made world and like, here's what you do: have fun. Have fun. <laughs> don't me. die. <laughs> knowing me, I'm just gonna end up like as soon as I spawn in, I'm just gonna start looking out in random shit that I'm not supposed to. <laughs> There's one point. Okay, I'm gonna put it out. I, I love watching the Yox cast. They are amazing YouTubers. Well, they, they are. They pretty much started I actually watched the, their, uh, oh. like, uh, they, they had a D&D &D podcast thing. Yep, yep. That was, like, the very first one I watched. And it was fucking amazing, and yeah, I loved they, it. they put on costumes and everything. It's great. Oh, yeah. I but, so. um, <laughs> like, Lewis and um, Simon did a video. Mm -hmm. So, and then Shin and Duncan did, like, found the mod pack also. And they're like, oh, yeah. It was done on the, the main ma uh, the main channel, which is yeah. Simon and Lewis, but let's do it anyway. And they're like, oh, they actually broke the floor and actually saw all the intricate parts of the world. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> That's <laughs> a cool. a lot that people put into making the world work the way it's supposed to. What? Um, we're talking about Minecraft. Uh, oh, yeah. Pre-made worlds. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I gotta. If we're gonna do something like that, I I think I want somebody to be a cameraman. There would be cameraman. There'd be two contestants, and in in a pre-made pre-made world, I think if we do some digging, I think we could probably find some really cool. Mm -hmm. Things do. Well, and I, I mean, know. we have an extra person. I won't mention his name on here yet until, you know, it actually happens. But, I mean, we do have him yeah, to join true. us, too. I don't know. So, I've kind of been into doing the, the behind-the-scenes type stuff. Or the, yeah. So, I mean, if well, I was cameraman, I'd be perfectly okay with that. If I, if we do the, um, the Deoxcast one... I would probably be best to do cameraman because I already know how to solve all the puzzles. Okay. Mm, fair That's enough. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you already <laughs> know how to solve them, I mean, it's not really. It, it would kind of like, oh, uh, that's so boring. They they solved it and didn't have to struggle at all. Right. It's like I would oh. rather be like just like <laughs> behind the scenes. <laughs> I know how to do it. <laughs> yeah. Y'all are fucked. <laughs> then they have to learn how to be cinematic. Uh, cinematic. I get to learn things. Yeah. yeah. I, at, like Learning. earlier this month, I actually started working at Thomas's company, and 
he's an amazing trainer and I, I'm like Aww. I love I Aww. love I love learning like so much that things and he doesn't oh. try to overwhelm me. No. He what? doesn't try to overwhelm What's me. What's gay? <laughs> what? No. Like I told you, I'm not gonna teach you something that I don't think that you're capable of. Handling, exactly. So. Right. I mean, there's no point in doing it. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, you guys. <laughs> I was gonna say bend together, but I'm like, wait a minute, that's wrong phrasing. Uh, you guys have known each other for many years, and I mean, oh. yeah. you know, even worked together before. So. You have a hell of a time on my mic. I know. I'm that sorry. There's not really much I can do about it. I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> like, his mic's already going to have a little bit of stuff because it's attached to the table. Yeah, true. That's true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ruh-roh. Well, well, can you hear me, right everyone? <laughs> if I no, can, it's just going to be shaky, 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 If I shaky, can find shaky. a new mixer with some extra inputs in it, and I have plenty of shock mics, I have to get new microphones then. Two of them, but... Oh. That's kind of whatever. This is like a cheap solution. Cheapy cheap. Yeah. Which, this is our early pro podcasts. Yeah. So. Right. So, I mean, you know. Trial and error. That's can, I, can I hit you with another hypothetical? Sure. Sure. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> one, one second. Okay. <clears throat> if you could replace your penis with another fully functional arm, would you? <laughs> Okay, that only applies to like three out of four people. That's not really fair. Okay, if you could replace your vagina with a third functional arm. Can I replace my boobs with functional arms? <laughs> fair I enough, would, yeah. Because I would do Fuck that. Because I'd be able to like actually do more shit around the house and shit, you know what, like uh, multitask and all that. I would say yes, just because at this point I have no fucking use for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not seeing any right? action. I mean, it's not seeing any action anyway, so fuck it. Okay, I'm there's kinda, kind of a. I'm kind of like with Tim on this because they just kind of hang off my chest. They don't oh, really. Thomas, do that's anything. your fucking job right there. <laughs> <laughs> Get on that shit. And they're done. That. She's gonna turn lesbian, man. What the fuck? <laughs> any day now. Oh, 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 oh wow. damn, dude, you're cutting it close. You better buy them sweets. I'm you, just you kidding. Have, I'm just now. kidding. Can I watch? <laughs> oh damn! You can watch, but you can't record. Oh, oh well, no, that's okay. He can myself. record in his mind. I keep it for myself. No, how many okay. cameras he has hidden around the house? I I'm know, just right? Not none of them. I mean, uh, especially that one that's like up in the ceiling, you know, above there your bed. Are I mean, a lot uh, of cameras in I've this never house. Seen <laughs> any cameras hidden around here. Just don't look at that camera feed from when I've been here. Okay, there's kind of a stipulation. <laughs> With a Do we need to like, show a black light on the couch now? Oh. oh! You know how much shit you'd see? Like, not even... Not even not from... Not even from that. Just from the cats and the dogs and shit like that. Like, and whoever else owned that couch before us. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I've perfectly cleaned that couch a couple times. I don't I think mean, it really comes out that easy. I don't think it does no. either. But <laughs> you'd have to bleach it, and that's still pretty dang green, so... So there's right. a small... Extra little, I guess, stipulation with this too. Hmm. If you could replace your penis with a fully functional, functioning arm, ignoring the idea of taking up too much space in the pants, let's say it could be collapsed back, much like a penis losing its erection, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> or it's just small. Uh, no, fully functional arm. So it's pretty much another one of your arms. Yeah, so, so it, it would, would grow fall. like a like a penis becoming a. So how would you oh. get it big so though? Would you have to, you have really to like excited. go like? No, would you'd you have, have to think. Would you have to jack off your arm? You'd have to think of work like, okay, up, this is what I want you to do. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Okay, we're going. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Grab that dish. Scrub again. So if you're like the only one to ever do this, you know how easy it would be to dick punch somebody that you're fighting. <laughs> <laughs> would it hurt the same? Well, it's a fully a, functional arm. So okay, it, so it, you it, still it was, you would still have the same pain of you actually punching. You just be punched. It'll be the height of somebody's dick. But the, what <laughs> he means by that is, if I were to punch you right now, I'm able to put my full body weight into it. You can't do that with a arm that's dick level because it, you can't put your body weight in. The you best can thrust. You, I was about to say the best you can do is thrust. Is, what if what if you use your your penis arm, quote unquote, to punch somebody else's penis arm? <laughs> so that everybody has a penis, penis arm. arm wrestling. <laughs> 
That gives a whole new definition to cockfighting. You know that sport would be on like Pornhub or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Pornhub would go out of business. No, they would they would pocket all the money from that. <laughs> that would be like their premium shit where you would have to pay like uh -huh. twenty bucks a month. Because there'd be balls, so they, it wouldn't be on like regular TV or whatever. Oh. It'd be either like Adult so, Swim so or your late arm night would Comedy still have Central. balls. How would that work? Because I mean, yeah, man, that's kind of so, fucked up. The fuck kind of fucked up shit you and, ask? And where would you pee? Out of your middle finger? Or you um, okay, then here's the other. Here's the other question. Your hand, like, would it just like splay out? It would be like Spider-Man. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh God, damn! At least you have a better way of aiming. Be <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like Spider-Man. Oh God, I'm so, I'm so sorry. This has never happened before. Oh my God, I, I, I'm just gonna leave right now. I, I, Spider okay. Later? Here's the here's another question to go with that. <laughs> Would it be below or above the elbow? Well, Talking about full, the balls. Well, would it include an elbow or no? Well, if it's fully functional, it has to include an elbow. Right. So it's basically, you know, it's at just your like if I were to take this motherfucking arm right here, rip off my penis, rip this arm off, put this arm where my penis and was, then, yeah. and then put your penis where your arm was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can just go up to people and just slap them. So in that case, would it bend up or down? <laughs> oh. You could decide because I mean you're ripping off and putting it exactly. in whatever direction you want to. Yeah, but this is more of like a it it's it grows this way. So I mean maybe it's a defect to grow down or it's a defect to grow up. I... Uh, up if you're happy, down if you're sad. <laughs> you don't choose that direction. You you you're uh... born with whatever direction you get. Oh, fuck I've, it. I've I'd heard want differently. Up. I've heard differently. I'd want up. But, you it's know. like people's but what if, dicks that what if somebody's down double jointed? Ooh. <laughs> that would just be fun. <laughs> <laughs> How would that work for my. If I had hands in my boobs, though? Like. <laughs> one bends up, one bends down. <laughs> <laughs> like, would they retract? Or would they. <laughs> just be like. <laughs> like little dinosaur arms? Just. <laughs> I'm a big head. It's like a big <laughs> Oh my god. He is our berserk. Just have him on my head. There we go. Gazerp is up. That shit. I can't wait for the new season of Rick and Marty, though. Oh, oh. I know, right? Um, when is that coming out? Or have they not released it yet? I don't think we know yet. Cocksucker. Man, release that shit. We want to fucking know. I know, but it takes so many, much time I, to animate shit. They already have shit. 70 episodes created. There's no need to make us wait this goddamn long. Like, that's too fast. Who told you? Multiple sources. Multiple sources? Multiple sources. Uh, you think that's too reliable fast for a TV show to be released? Ah. No, they've, no, I'm saying they already have 70 episodes made up. Yeah. And there's 10 episodes. Uh, when, did it, when did it first come out? Per though? season. So then that's at least seven uh, more seasons. I'm saying that there ain't no more, there ain't no damn that? reason no, to make no, us no, wait no, no. this fucking long. 2016, I think. Yes, it was. It was 2016 because that's when I first moved into this house with my roommates. So, um, right. Years. And I think I watched season two while I was working for Holiday. So, or maybe it was season one. I forget. I don't know. That year well, of my life is just like a blur. It says December. The series premiered on December 2nd, 2013. 2013? And the third season concluded on October 1st, 2017. Okay, so it must have been. Must have been 2017. In May 2018, the series was picked up for an additional 70 episodes over an unspecified number of seasons. So it sounds like in May they were contracted for another 70 episodes. Oh, okay. So they were contracted for it, but in May, yeah, that's we don't know I think if they made them all I'm yet. Reading, they were contracted for. So, so that doesn't mean okay. that they haven't done yet. So season one had eleven episodes because they would have had a pilot episode, and yeah. then they're ten normal, and then mm -hmm. each season thereafter, two and three had ten episodes. So if it's another seventy episodes, and they keep going like they do, so um, there's another then seven be seasons. Good for so ten full seasons at the very least. Yeah. Okay, Which so is damn actually, good. it's a bit more yeah. spaced out than I thought. Then season four has uh, been confirmed. <gasps> oh yeah. Well, yeah, we know uh, it, we know it's been confirmed. <laughs> well, uh, they're good for seventy more episodes. Well, good right. I'm just excited to fucking hear it. Gets your third arm hard, doesn't it? Oh it yeah. Is. 
Oh, wait, it's not nice to masturbate in front of people. Never it's mind. rumored to come out in the se- um, holiday season in 2018. So maybe. Maybe, maybe December. Maybe December. So. Really? So we had December. So it'll be at least another year July, before I'm April. able to see it. <laughs> I, I, I'll fucking watch it on the internet. I don't care. Well, if they have it on Kiss Anime, yeah. I mean, uh, no Kiss Cartoon. Kiss Cartoon. Kiss Cartoon has yep, yep, yep. Um, cartoons and Kiss mm. Anime has anime. Yep, yep, yep. I, I forget there was two different ones. Wubba lubba dub dub, motherfucker. <laughs> Let's get riggy riggy rexon. I'm fucking working on it, damn it. <clears throat> I'm fucking working on it, damn it, Morty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, Rick. Oh, jeez, Rick. Oh, jeez, Rick. I don't know you do that. that. You do that so well, babe. Oh, Morty. Mm, yes. yes, you do. How you doing, Morty? <laughs> Can Man, I, I like tickle your yellow shirt? I think you should take it off. Can I'm, I tickle I'm your pickle? Huh? I'll tickle <laughs> your pickle. Although it would make more sense for <clears throat> season four to release in 2019, based on Shut their. Shut the fuck up. Based on their <laughs> release times. <laughs> Just. But I guess I don't know. <laughs> oh, nobody knows. Does anybody know? I don't know. Although well, they're not like we probably won't know until a week before it's supposed to come out. They don't have right. a, oh, the only okay. reason why season four has been delayed is because of contract negotiations. Which that could be. makes sense considering yes. they were just uh, contracted in twenty or May. I like how it's like Rick and Morty season four canceled by Adult Swim question mark. Was on March twenty second, two thousand eighteen. Two thousand uh, March twenty third, two thousand eighteen. Rick and Morty is, t- season four is delayed due to uh, contract negotiations. <laughs> <laughs> so, you don't say. Like, All right, so they're already putting out that we're canceled. No, 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 no. This is why we're delayed. It's because. <laughs> well, kind of holds true, I guess. Well, yeah, because they just got signed on for 70 more episodes. So guess what? Those actors are going to want to negotiate. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, if I'm going to be on 70 more episodes, I'm going to want more money or something. Right. Which, which is which makes sense because they're super popular. Why not? I, if if they're, they're popular and they're funny, why not? Right. That's exactly. more money for the fucking studio. You're going to make money off those you'll, goddamn You'll make actors. more money than you pay them. Right. Way more money. You know how many people are going to fucking buy extra shit for those guys? Mm-hmm. The merchandise you'll be able to sell from them motherfuckers? Exactly. I mean, they, they have Halloween have, costumes. They, they will only get money for anything that their voice is on. So, like, Halloween costumes of Rick and Morty, that's just free money oh to the creators. Yeah. Right. Not even voices there. Can I be right. honest about this show? I don't think it's this... Almighty amazing thing. I don't think it's. I like it, but I don't think it's like really, really good. I think it's just think, pretty funny. I think it I, is, dude. It's like. You, it's okay. South, when South Park I, first came out. Yeah, it, it had it's the like. Same effect. Yeah. And, I respect your opinion, even mm-hmm. though it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and and, 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 and I told you, like, <laughs> I, I was reading up on it. South Park is asking Comedy Central <clears throat> to cancel them. They're done. They're like we're running out of ideas. That's probably a good thing. So, Although the shit that they've been releasing, I think they're just asking to get canceled. But right. Comedy Central won't have it because they're making well, too much money off well, of it. Especially since they had an episode on school shootings. Yes. Yeah, well, that's been like a, that's been a that was thing, the really. like whole f- like episode was that their school was being shot up like every single day. But guess what? Yeah. No one cared. <laughs> um, well, that's been a, and it's like that's been a wow that's a like a huge insensitivity thing not saying that it wasn't a good episode because I, I thought it was kind of funny in I a dark, demented a way I kind of interpreted yeah, it's, uh, season as 22. though that's what that should be our take on it because granted thankfully we haven't had one in a while and I hope we don't because it's fucking bullshit that that happens mm-hmm. Minnesota nice mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but uh I think that instead of the media focusing on them for weeks and weeks and weeks, it should just be like, this was the shooter, this was the casualties, here's the on- here's a video honoring them, done. It's when we glorify these people 
their, some their of, work. Some of those are like, just like how you said, it, it's done. Right. Let's move on. But the big ones, even the big ones, that's what we need to do. We need to move on from them. Because that is just being like, hey, if you do this, you're going to get this much attention, whether you're dead or alive. You're gonna... Your name is going to be plastered everywhere, dead well, or alive. Well, right, because our younger generations are more into internet fame and all that shit. Right. You know, and I've kind of noticed that, too, because it's, it's the easy way. It's the easy way. Yeah, I, I've noticed a lot more on YouTube of younger kids getting into YouTube. Like, fucking Fortnite. It is a... I'm sorry, but we might lose some viewers. It is a stupid fucking game. It's a copy and paste of PUBG. Yeah, it's well, not terrible. Copy and paste. No. I'm, not, I'm not saying it's good. I hate the game it's myself. It's terrible. I'm not I hate saying it. it's good either. I'm not saying I hate it either, but I, it's terrible. I think it... It has its ups and downs. I mean, what I do like about it is that you're able to build shit. It's terrible. <laughs> well, it's an easy it's an easy escape from your targets. With PUBG, man, motherfuckers in goddamn ghillie suits blend right into the fucking grass. I can't see where I'm fucking being shot You know how many times from? I like, walked up to somebody in the ghillie suit? I mean, I'm hidden. I'm looking down this scope. Walked up to him with my pistol. Bang! Fuck you. If they're from any, dis <laughs> if they're from any fucking distance away... My blind ass, can you see how thick these motherfucking glasses are? I can't fucking see them, even if my shit's on 4K. Holy shit, your eyes are tiny. You do have bottle caps for glasses. Put it, put it, put it. <laughs> oh, wow. It's bubbles. bubbles. Don't touch my kitty. <laughs> oh my god, your eyes are tinier. They get tinier. They get tinier. Yeah, they do. Holy shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my eyes. His eyes get bigger, yours get tinier. Are you far sighted then, or are you near sighted? Don't touch me, kitty. <laughs> I'm far-sighted, <laughs> or, well, I'm near-sighted. I can see things from far away. No, you're you're, you're far-sighted. Far oh, I'm far-sighted. So with your glasses off, like you can't see your hand in front of your face because it's too blurry. I can I can see my my hand right now. How much? Okay, if you were to try to read a book, would you be putting it out here or in here? Without, I without your glasses. Oh, okay, so you so if you put the book on the table, you wouldn't be able to read yeah, it. Yeah, things from far away, I can't see. Oh, okay, you're so you're near-sighted. Near like the rest of us. <laughs> Are you nearsighted or farsighted? I'm actually both. Plus the stigmatism. You're just oh. fucked. Yeah, you're <laughs> just fucked, man. And my eyes are fucked. A fucking bad. Exactly. <laughs> That's the stigmatism. Can I see your bastards real quick? <laughs> oh, God. This is going to be like the see opposite ya. for you. <laughs> no! <laughs> You'll never get out of the basement again. <laughs> Actually, monster! If, actually, if you did that to Tom, he wouldn't be able to get out of the basement either. <laughs> Man, I'd be falling. Look at this. This is a fucking death trap for that situation. <laughs> this right. is an obstacle God course. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it's an obstacle course down here. <laughs> and then we'll record it and put like fucking clown music. Dun 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 dun. Ah! Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Like, son of a bitch! Dun dun dun. Motherfucker! Oh my God. <laughs> I've determined if Tom and I ever have kids, they'll be born with glasses. Like as soon as it oh, pops out, it's they just gonna have. have the glasses they're gonna be born with glasses on because <laughs> you know I'm Absolutely. nearsighted too. But. And if that ever happened, you know how many like um, people are like, you know what? We could pay you a lot of money. <laughs> right? <laughs> Just give birth to glasses. <laughs> just, just, just don't do what my parents did. Ask your kid if they can't see. My parents duct taped my fucking head to the goddamn TV. Oh, God. Because I was trying to tell them I couldn't fucking see it. That's why I'm so got Like, I'm this <laughs> more fucking close to that fucking TV. And they're like, you know what, fuck it. You want to stand right there in front of that fucker? You can't let us, everybody else see? Shh. You know, I God. didn't I didn't realize I was nearsighted till I was in ninth grade. And I couldn't read the, uh, well, yeah, you, you, the overhead you kinda, projector. Yeah, you just kind of... I I literally Why don't you wear glasses. Uh, money and I lost my last pair. So <laughs> like I was telling Thomas, go to America's Best. America's nope. Best. Yep, you get America. two pairs for like sixty nine ninety nine, and you can add extras and add add to it. But the I exam depend on your with glasses. Does not depend on your insurance though. No, I, dude, fucking Walmart insurance, fucking shit. It's not covered. Not really. With, <laughs> what? No, really. It's... Well, with their vision. 
With their vision. No, I haven't. I haven't. Yeah. There's only two I Walmarts go to in the our own st- Walmart with our vision insurance. No, that be, that's because of the doctor is exactly under it. There's only two but Walmarts then, in the so entire I, my, state that cover I, it. I looked for the best deal in America's Best. We'll pay for your eye exam, and boom, you you pay, walk away glad. Like I paid for my two pairs, one hundred twenty dollars because I added to them. Like it has like no glare when I'm driving at night. America's Best, you should sponsor us because we're just cool like that. <laughs> Free just, advertisement. I kidding. mean, you know. Crown Royal. <laughs> just kidding. You know what? Shout out to you guys because oh I God. drink it, but you ain't paying it for me. <laughs> but you ain't paying me for it. At least not yet. <laughs> not yet. Are you complaining? And they probably it? won't. Hell no. Okay. <laughs> they probably won't. I know they guys. won't. But free advertisement, right? Hey, it's yeah. worth a fucking try. So, yeah, I, I would recommend America's Best. Yeah, our closest one is in fucking Blaine, so you'd have to drive an hour and a half. I but can you be- can get two pairs for, for dirt cheap. Huh. Fuck it. We'll do it. Right? These Fuck. motherfuckers are fucking five years old. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I think probably Maybe we should make a day out of it then, because, yeah. I need glasses. Same. Granted, I can drive, I, I, but my man. Second, my second pair, I just threw in my car. So if anything happens to them, I have another pair. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> this guy posted, what if RP was a different color other than red? <laughs> if what? Other than red. I if th- your P is another color other, other than, than red. So uh, Apparently so, something's wrong with this guy and his P is always colorblind. red. Uh, could be. Yeah. Or he's saying instead of it being red as a different color, <laughs> I think he's just rainbows. He's a damn unicorn. <laughs> 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 and he's making another drink. Here's a couple. Here's a couple posts. Mine's green. What color is yours? Blue for days. Here, this question disturbs me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of disturbing. I'll be pissing clear. <laughs> it's kind of disturbing if you know. I was your just pee. about to say that. Your period, if your pee is coming out red, I man, if your piss oh, is coming it's... out red, you need to get into the motherfucking doctor. Is that or you need to stop <laughs> drinking, the, you know, the the dye, the red dye that people put in the stuff. Oh yeah. You just need to stop drinking food coloring. Oh my back is itchy. My back is itchy. Oh. Wow. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, I love That's this one. Nothing. Nothing. What if mountains are? We were talking about dicks and red shit. So, I, yeah, don't oh God. mind me. Don't mind me. What if mountains are volcanoes, just afraid to be themselves? <laughs> like turbulent juice. <laughs> what? <laughs> turbulent juice. It reminded me of that. It was like one of their improv like commercials on Rick and Morty. It was turbulent juice. Turbulent juice. I like, don't get it. Like you weren't really sure if they were selling a cleaning project or a male <laughs> enhancement or whatever the fuck because it had this like volcano thing that like squirted this pink. It did. did yeah. That just sounds weird. It, it was a really weird commercial, but you know, whatever. Right, I'm going to go make my I last mean, drink for the night. I mean, sex sells. I mean, you know. Damn, you down that. I'm on my second. Call- you need to slow oh down. God. Slow. That's, like I said, this is going to be my last one. I don't think he knows the definition of slow down. No. <laughs> Man, I've been out of the game for a damn near a fucking year. For nine fucking months, I've been out the goddamn game. Well, congratulations. Would you like a cookie? Yes, please. Well, too we have bad. cookies in the cupboard by the fridge. <laughs> Let's no. Deidre eat them all. Oh, we actually have cookies. I mean, uh... Oh, wait, isn't that no. the Oreos? Oreos. Uh... Cookie! I only had like six Oreos in <laughs> I mean, that, that shit's like cracked to me, so you know, it's pretty much gone. Jeez. I don't even okay. have a thing of Oreos. <laughs> okay, that's fine. There's still some goodies at work, right? Um, They're pretty much gone. They're just down to like a half a loaf of uh, lemon bread. Oh. And almost no nothing else stuff. I'm surprised. It usually takes them forever to get through that stuff. Hmm. All those cookies were really good. <laughs> yeah. What kind of cookies were they? <laughs> oh, um, I'm I into know. food. I porn, think it so was I mean... the well, it was just all <laughs> snacky. Like, um, what kind of cookies pastries. were they? Like, <sighs> they're like they weren't. They're the cream cheese Danishes. <gasps> well, there's that. The, the I ate the shit out of the strawberry. Cream I don't cheese remember what, cookies what about were, the cookies? Were they the ones with the frosting on top? Or no, the no, there was no. Were no, they no, sugar? No. Cookies? They were just like a. They were, were they... a soft cookie with some sort of. 
like frosting filling. I never ate any between of them, but I, I want to say like gingerbready, but that's not the right taste. That's not the right flavor. No, they were gone in. Those were gone in a day. I don't remember what flavor. You don't remember what flavor they I were. I didn't have any of those. Hungry for cookies now. God damn it! <laughs> I had the Danishes. I had a couple of them. I'm a cookie fiend. Especially Oreos, man. I ain't eating a whole package to myself in a day. Like, well, it really pissed me off. Is like, I'm like, okay, I'll quickly sneak this out and quickly eat it. Turn around. I'm like, okay, I want to go take that last piece. And Thomas is just like, oh, this is mine. I'm like, oh, you're an ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was this for? It was the Danish at work. You took like the last <gasps> piece out of there. What? Out, oh, out oh. of the package. What I'm like, oh, you ass. I was going to like, walk out and I... Like, Quickly, I sneak that away. I'm like, oh, this is mine now. <laughs> I don't remember that, but okay. I was picking up my lunchbox, turn around, you ha- you're digging in. I'm like, oh, dang it. Oh, no. I should have just taken that, that big, nice Wah. big chunk. <laughs> wow. I'm a sucker for Danishes. Danishes are good too, but they don't beat Oreos. Like I said, they're like fucking crack cocaine to me. Well, I like pastries more than cookies. Every time you guys talk about food, it makes my mouth hurt. I know. It, ah! it makes my mouth water. That's it makes great. me think about, you know, pooping black for a while. Ew. Just to warn you guys, I do have chili upstairs. It oh. is spicy. My mom made it extra spicy. And she's like, you want to take some with? I'm like, sure. <laughs> so eat at your own discretion. I, I will okay, have any. You enough. guys have any. I may or may not. I mean, after last night eating that sour chicken and drinking blue lemonade booze, oh my god, my stomach just hated me this morning. Like, I really, really wanted to shit, and I was hoping I was getting it all out this morning because I was like, Fuck. Of course, I did make sloppy joes, and I have leftovers of that, so it's kind of like, do you want to play a game? Do you want to play a game? <laughs> <laughs> one of these is chili. Oh my God. <laughs> Which one is chili? Can you tell? <laughs> ah, psych, I mixed it together. Jeez. To one super chili. What happened? Give me. Where's your drink? Oh, what the hell? I started to slow it down. Oh, okay. Oh, sure. Now you're gone and... Just, no, I don't I know. The one I stood up, I was like, holy, okay. Well, all right then. Yeah, here's a Here's a kind of serious one for you. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> what if what if wealth slash currency was distributed by request based on who is most likely to actually use it? Now, what do you mean by use it? Right. Are because we talking about necessity, or are we just talking about I don't just? Think it matters. If we we're talking about just recreational use, um, wealth slash currency. I'd be so. the richest fucking person in the exactly. world. Exactly. I'd be on if, Amazon if, every day. We'd have packages. I. If we're talking about absolute necessity, then there would be no such thing as high class, middle class, low class. Everything would be the same. Because everybody only ever needs the same shit. As long as you got clothes on your back, shoes on your feet, roof over your head. Then you would never be given any money or wealth if you were very sparring with it. Sparring? I guess it depends on what they... How you define to actually use it. Right. I mean, we need a little bit more of a definition. If you're just going to use it... Like, I think anybody would just go out and buy thousands of dollars worth of TVs or something. I would buy out the liquor store. (laughs) I'd at least get a nicer house, a nicer car. Hmm. I'd get a nicer house, a nicer car. Okay, then we'll we'll put a little twist on it. So actually use it will define as using it for... Within your means. Moral and... Morally acceptable. Morally good and... What Never what you up. want to have, but you know, not going batshit crazy, because obviously. Not going batshit crazy. This will help you sober you up. It's an old bird. Yeah, I know. I'm Sorry. Too. No, it's all good. Sorry. So, do you ju- just hit I, the popcorn button? I didn't know we had a popcorn button. Otherwise, I would press it. Sorry. Yes, we have a popcorn. Most microwaves come standard with that <laughs> nowadays. Well, obviously. How, how long do you put it in for? Two that should be fine. Right, it should be fine, but I think it had problems with oh, turning you know it because it's too long. No, I think when you hit the popcorn button, it's like a minute. One point seven seven five. Something like that, yeah. Oh, well, next time I'll just use the popcorn button. 
I'm sorry, I don't usually cook with a microwave. Oh. The only time I use a microwave is to reheat stuff. Otherwise, I cook on a stove. So 1.75 minutes would be 2 minutes and 15 seconds. Well, I think that might be power or something. I don't know. But when I hit the popcorn button on the microwave, it says 1.75 and I hit start. I think it's ounces. Oh. That could be. But anyways. So if you were going to use money and wealth for good. For good. Like if it was distributed for people who would use it for good. Like to better yourself, or uh, are we talking no, about? No, I'm thinking to be donations more of like to charities and shit. Better everybody else. What? I guess oh. would it would well, that point the economy be okay with that? Probably not. I would never have this shit. Yeah, hmm? I was gonna say these questions are these these questions are kind of lame. I won't okay. lie. Well, I mean, I, the hypothetical well, one was just. Well, kinda... I mean, technically, if you're using it for good, you're. And you're like donating it. You're gonna basically bankrupt the entire economy. At that point, <laughs> are you no. saying that there's no good people in the world? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that. Nothing against like the. Well, well not enough no, good maybe it would. To... Maybe it would stimulate the co economy. I, I don't know. I think it would turn people into good people. It would, but at the same time, it might have its drawbacks because whenever you got something going on like that, where it's only to meant to be good. It's only meant to be used for good. There's always going to be somebody who cheats. Always. Then they don't get money or wealth anymore. Simple as that. But how do you determine that? Like, who fu would fucking... It's, it doesn't matter who. It just, and EBT it just matters scam. that it does. Do you, are, do you know what the welfare and EBT scams are? Yep. Okay. No, I get that. But it doesn't matter... It doesn't matter how it's determined. It just matters that it is determined. Oh, okay. Okay. So if you are a so it's morally bad person, you don't get wealth... Or money. You just get enough to sustain life and no, that's No, you don't get it. anything. That sounds terrible. It sounds terrible, but what is your new motivation to be a good person? Because now you can afford... Yeah, but then you have those people right. that are whining and crying. Well, then they're not going to get money very well. This. And then they're just, like, homeless. And then, and then you have these random, like, homeless people running around looting shit. Yeah, she just said my previous comments. Well, there's that too. <laughs> I know we're one in the same brain right now. Mm. At that, well, yeah. I was gonna say with, that basis, with where he was going speed. with it, you might as well just hand the money straight directly to the homeless people. Right. Because if we are going to be donating our money, what better cause? Except aside, because cancer patients, sick children, homeless people, plus a few others that are pretty much subcategories, right? So you might as well right. just you might as well just give sick the money people, straight to them. Sick kids, dogs, and it'd still be based on people that deserve it. So let's say you're sick, but you're a good person. You're going to get money and wealth from other good people because that's where it would have to come from. Oh, so think about that. Oh, okay. That's where it would. That's well, the only specify. Well, that's that would be the only way that it would make sense. Like where that money doesn't just float from the sky. And land on good people. It has to come from Amazon other good drones. People. Yes, it would, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I have a better, better side for hypotheticals oh, over Reddit. But, but I, I, I'm kind oh. of enjoying this conversation, though. Okay. So one sec. We can, yeah. Uh, well, we can finish here. Um, Let's finish the conversation, then we'll move on. So okay, so if money and wealth was. Because I feel like we're getting somewhere. Because if we're like. If charities are coming back to you, well, obviously they would because, you know, if you're in well, trouble. If you're, if you're a homeless person that is just a complete pain in the ass to society or whatever, then no good person is going to give you money. Oh, so society deems whether you're good or bad. Uh, society deems what is morally good or bad anyways. I was going to say, if society is going to deem whether or not we're worthy, then everybody's going to fucking be homeless except for a select few people. Because it is all going to be the same famous, rich ass celebrity sons of bitches. Maybe. I guess it would. Maybe. All Could, on well, because I mean, Kanye West, he's deemed oh as God. crazy, right? True. And technically, he's not a good person. So obviously, he would be homeless. Donald Trump would be the same way. Oh, Jesus. Why don't you stay out of this conversation? So we... Not trying to do politics or anything. I'm just. What the hell's your alarm for? That's to remind me to take my meds, but I have alcohol in me. I'm not taking my sleeping med with alcohol in me. Yeah, no, that's, that's a bad a idea. idea. 
But anyways. You might not wake up. <laughs> Especially when, since when I do wake up, I feel like I get hit by a truck. <sighs> it's like you were drunk, but not actually drunk. It, yeah, actually. Right. All right. Go ahead, Brian. Go ahead. I think I'm done. So with this over guy. his um. A little bit better than his hypothetical is over oh, Reddit. Oh, I see how it is. Yep. <laughs> I have a game where you press the button. Chris. I didn't bring this I want shit to back. Play a game. We're going to play press the button. Why Will I... you press the button? Why? Why would it's this? fun. No, I like hypothetical questions. Well, what is hypothetical, actually? Would you? Yeah, but you do one over over the other. Let's like, just try like, it. Let's just try okay, it. Here's, okay, here's okay, one okay, I okay, think okay. Tim would actually yes like. No. Okay, okay. You are paid $10 million to t attend a one year of incredible intensive training for combat, survival, and weapon training. But once per month for the next 10 years, a randomly selected world government will dispatch an assassin to attempt to kill you. Will you press the button? Fuck yes, let's fucking go. I wouldn't push that, that's stupid. An assassin? Man, have you seen half of the country's special forces? <laughs> Are you saying they're terrible? <laughs> Fuck yes! <laughs> God damn! That's awesome. <laughs> Man, they can barely get down a goddamn rope on a helicopter. Oh, you know, wow. I don't know if I would They can not. barely kick in a fucking door. The training would be nice. Yeah. The training would be very nice. Although, it would give you an incentive to use that training. Exactly. So, I mean... For the next that's, ten years, yeah, that's you, why. you'd be like... Fucking Frickin Jason Bourne. Or Jackie Chan. <laughs> or Jackie Chan. Like, Jackie. Oh, somebody's after me. So, yeah. What's your job? Button pressed. Fuck yeah, let's do it. I found, I found another one that's kind of on the same lines as the first topic just before this one. What if karma was a cryptocurrency? It's still kind of the same. Karma? Thing. What if karma was a cryptocurrency? God, man, I'd still be fucking rich. It'd right? still be same. the same question of if you're a good person, then you get money type thing. Uh, well, if. Okay, I based so my life on that philosophy. I, I, so I, I mean... think I'd be a little richer because I'm the kind of person I deal out karma. I don't let karma take its toll. I deal it out. I'm... Oh God! So you... he's okay. karma so incarnate. Then... Yeah. So then... <laughs> yeah. Call me karma, bitch. Okay. So then the, your question of like how what determines if a person is good or bad, karma would be a good answer to that. Mm hmm. Yeah. Like there you go. I was always raised like. You do good to others, and good things happen to you. Yep. Three times good or three times bad. So you should get money. <laughs> well, kidding. yeah, I'm, I'm like, just kidding. <laughs> just saying, it's a like, don't ask for it because that's stupid. Don't ask for money if you have good karma coming to you, because then bad karma will what bestow you. It's just like okay. It's just like okay. I have plenty of money. I disagree. But I want. Really? But I want you to give I me disagree. more money. What, what as long people? as I have as enough a firm money to live health. comfortably and get the like, I have actually I, had my dues small, paid small more than once in money. Like a, a, a couple games but you didn't here ask and there. For money. Right. I did. I, I'm fine. Well, I'm right there like, with you, man. I, I have more than I months. have my rum. I have my games. I have my friends. I do not need a Lamborghini nope. in my driveway. I Fuck don't no. need a fucking private jet. I don't need to be rich. It would be it nice, would be, though. It would be nice, yes. It would be really nice. Oh, absolutely. I mean, but yeah. But <laughs> just because it's nice doesn't mean it's right not now, a necessity. Hand to God, if I ever won the lottery, I would probably still be working as Thomas's whipping boy. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm like, well, I... I'd take a couple months off and I, actually I might do something. take a couple weeks to go tour Japan's royal areas. But I'd come back and I'd still keep working, right? Because I wouldn't have I wouldn't have to worry about money, but I'm, I, I'm the kind of person like I need to work. Me personally, I've been working since 16, 14 years. I've been working. Me personally, I'd be bored. I, uh, <laughs> I'm right there with you, but I wouldn't be the, like that. I would still be working, but I'd find myself a better job. I'd take the time to find myself a better job. I found job. a better job. Well, the job, no, and that's job I, that that's you want to But work. on top of that, like, I'd buy my house from the from my landlord, demolish it, and I'd build, rebuild it. That way my fucking faucets are the right goddamn way. So when I go out and fucking turn on the goddamn cold water, I don't get fucking boiling water. <laughs> Why don't you just switch the, the pipes underneath the sink? 
Man, I'm no fucking plumber. It would take you five seconds. I'm not fucking with that shit. <laughs> well, he has no knowledge. Maybe you should no teach him. But and I would all and I would make it so that I can run my fucking coffee maker at the same goddamn time as my motherfucking microwave, so I can eat my breakfast and drink my motherfucking coffee at the same goddamn time instead of eating my motherfucking breakfast or having to wait to eat my motherfucking breakfast so I can have it with my motherfucking coffee. That's some fucked up wiring you got in that house. Yeah. <laughs> if I, if they're on together at the same time fucking fuse blows. The worst thing I ever had was that if the uh, washer and dryer were going at the same time, I couldn't play my games because they were on the same circuit. <laughs> I was going to say, down here, if you plug them into the same outlet, like our washer and dryer, uh, the dryer quits. The dryer quits. Like, once the washer gets going, the dryer quits. Yep. So, we had to plug them into different outlets so that way they... Because we always wondered why we had to run the dryer twice. Mm. Right? Mm. Thomas found out mm. when he was working down here and one day. He's like, Oh, the dryer just shut off for some guy over the for no reason. The washer was still going. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, 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 like if I won the lottery, I, I would change. still be a hardworking man. It, it would not change how I live. Yeah. Can you change how I live? You can wait a second, Timmy, because we're going to wrap this one up. Oh, okay. We're wrap it up. Oh, I we, can, we can do another one, but we're going to wrap this one up. Okay. So. Yeah, uh, Timmy, if you want to plug your shit, um, I know you've been streaming lately on, what was it, Twitch, right? YouTube, Twitch? No, I, I have, I've been thinking about streaming. Oh, okay. I thought you were streaming in one of those. Uh, no, so the issue was that the tweet, Twitch keeps on opening by itself on my computer. Uh, I've been thinking about just starting, like, click stream on my fucking PlayStation. Okay. Just for the shit of it, you know? Well, okay. That's fair. Like, back in the day, um... When I was living in Isani, back in my day, back in my day, um, I used to stream on Twitch. I would be getting about 40, 40 viewers at one time, just chatting away. Twitch is. What do I need to do for Twitch? Twitch is super easy. Yeah. Um, if it's console, you just you just link it to your Twitch account after you've yep. created one, and then hit go. You can do that. <laughs> But what I would suggest, if you want to see the chat and be able to communicate, don't do what I did because I was lazy. Well, at the beginning, towards the end, I'm like, you know what? I have a tablet where I can put the fucking chat up. Mm -hmm. I would act, there's an option where you would have the chat open, but you have, you have your stream book. You have all these necessities. I was going to say, I just set myself up to where I can have to where if I'm playing art, I have it hooked up to my big TV with my PlayStation going through my little yep, TV. I was actually thinking about starting to stream on Twitch again because I, I was getting decent followers yeah, before I, before I even before I started talking to Thomas. Well, for me, I mean, I've been thinking about just to like give the people something to watch because like, I'll say goofy ass shit while I'm playing, like, just playing Assassin's Creed, Deidre can vouch for that. Like, I. Go, 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 go! Ranta, da, da, da! Ranta, da, da, da! Kill! Slice! 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 Goddamn motherfucker! Spawn kick him, bitch! <laughs> what, what really got me no, popular? No, go the other way! Go the other way! What really got me popular, which I think I'm gonna start um, streaming on Twitch when what it comes like out, Call of Duty? is Battlefield. Uh, Battlefield? Yep, yep. That is way more popular. For Twitch streamers, than it is Call of Duty. Oh, I believe it. Everybody does fucking Call of Duty. Yeah, and like I literally got raided by somebody and like, hey, here's like forty followers, and guess what? They kept coming back. All right, so you were telling me to put my stuff in. Do you do you have a Twitch? I I can make one, and if I do, I'll just say my username so you, that you can. Follow me and watch. Okay. Do you have like a Twitter or anything you want to plug? I don't care. See, I'm too quiet when I play games because I'm busy um, concentrating. For so. my Twitter, it'd be technician13 underscore 13, I think. No, that's, that's a different user. Technician13 for uh, Twitter. Okay. And for Twitch, once I make it up, if I haven't already, it'll be Magnuson, M A G N U S O N 619. Okay, cool. Which is why I usually collab taken. with other people <laughs> who stream, because 
I'm pretty boring by myself. So, well, if I know I... I've I, watched my own videos when I do it by myself. I fall asleep watching them. Oh well, like, if I know I'm supposed to be talking, I'll actually talk. I, I used to stream on console with back in the day when they first introduced streaming to PlayStation 4, which was fucking horrible. Guess what? The audience to my streams could hear me, but not my party, not the random people I was shooting. Nothing. They would just hear me. Hmm. That was horrible. So people were like, I, like if we have a funny story, I would have to reiterate the story from their end to Twitch, which was it fucking ass, which they've actually fixed if you're in party chat. Well, then I will definitely be streaming Assassin's Creed. Oh, and, that'd be a good one to stream. And probably Call of Duty World War II, since that's one of the main things I play. And I can't find any of my other fucking games. But I'll just find whatever else I but can yeah, have if, downloaded. If you do... Yeah. Destiny. Fuck yes. Oh, I'll I be used doing... to stream this shit out of Destiny. I'll be game. streaming Destiny. I mean, well, Destiny 2. I like it. I never played the first one, but I got in on Destiny 2 with my friends. And I found it. I thought it was fun. I it's like terrible. it. Disney is terrible. Disney is terrible. You can have your opinion, you even though it's wrong. You liked the first one for a long time, and then the no. DLC situation. I liked it for a very short amount of time. I liked it before oh, it damn, came she's out. You the liked pen. it oh, damn, until the, the DLC came out on the first she, one. What do you mean? I remember that. What do you mean? The Guys, first, the see first major here. DLC that came out that added to the story... <laughs> When that came out and you had to pay for it, you thought it was a bunch She's of bullshit. She's trying not to laugh. Play. Oh yeah, actually yeah, I do remember that because it's a, that is literally the what, day it was you a stopped fucking, playing. It was like a She's fucking sixty. Here she goes. Shut the fuck up! I'm gonna throw this at you. I'm gonna throw this pen at you. Shut up. Yeah, because I thought she it was broke. bullshit. They basically danger, danger, danger. <laughs> Whoa, jeez. Welcome to the danger zone. Okay. Stop. Yeah, I'm trying to tell the story. I'm trying to tell you all why I hate Destin Destiny. Because it was like, what, a $60 game? Yeah. Worth it. And it was basically worth $20, in my opinion. Oh, and the oh, fact wow. that you had to pay for the DLC on top of that, which was another, what, 40 bucks, 20 bucks, something like that? I'm like, no, yeah. not fucking worth it. You all can kiss my ass. Even oh, though I shit. had the season pass that was, that was free for you. A season pass? It's, yeah. It was not free for me at that time. It was. It was <clears> not. Because I paid for the season pass. It was not. It was not. Well, now he's actually sharing with you, so you... Well, now I don't care. <laughs> because it's Thomas, a bunch of re you ever repeated I bullshit. I just put myself in the You've been married how goddamn long? Right you should know this by now. You know my my whole excuse to that, like it's a bunch buy, of repeated no, 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 maps no, no, no. that you, you go and shoot the same clubs over and over again, and it's like whatever. That. I'll give you that. You can have the repetitive repetitiveness argument no, all no. day. And no, 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 you can have it you. because. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just giving gonna you a valid out. argument. Okay, if you think of that, like that, every game nowadays has repetitive. Assassin's Creed, the new one that I bought, it is a bitch to level up. Absolute fucking pain in the ass. I have to go back to the low level areas. Which is fine. But the scenery changes. You can go to different areas. Well, all the and, low level areas are still the same. And it's, so a, I get... it's a bigger map, right? Very true. You know, and you can take on harder stuff if you want to. Destiny, you could do that. But it was the same goddamn map every single fucking time. Oh, okay. It reminded me of Dragon Age 2. I hated that game. I love Dragon Age, but I hated the second one because they used the same dungeon maps over and over again. This is and it got oh. stupid. Very it was stupid. I played it for the storyline, and that was it. I'll give you that, but with the Assassin's Creed, I'm already getting sick of it because uh, of the couple of maps that I have to go back to in order to grind, in order to level up. Like the conquest battles that you saw? Yeah. I've already done five of those fuckers. Trying to level up. Okay, that's dumb. Exactly. That's dumb. They need to fix their fucking leveling up system. Because I'm getting sick of having to do the same shit for fucking a week. 
a goddamn week. I shouldn't have to do the same shit for a fucking week in order to level up. But you could also just take on the level 28 people. I mean, you know, that would work too. Man, motherfucker, kill me in one goddamn hit why don't you? Well, that's when you then miss. you learn how to dodge. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. <laughs> if I can dodge a battle axe, I can dodge anything. <laughs> right, exactly. See? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> just saying, Tim. If you can take on one of those people, and yeah, it might take you an hour. It might take you two hours to will him down and kill him. I've done those battles, but man, those rewards you get. You, oh, God damn it. You, you just convinced me. Fuck! You, <laughs> Once I get home. It, it is going to be a pain in the ass, but the rewards will be a lot more gratifying than to grind. Right, which is why they give you those open maps, so that mm -hmm. way you can take on those harder challenges. Destiny doesn't let you do that. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. You can go anywhere you want on the map. Yeah. When you spawn on a planet, you, there's a there lot are, of places you there can go. There are areas where it's way tougher, and if you manage to survive <laughs> now... The rewards it, are the fucking rewards are That's now. Better. That wasn't that. No, absolutely. Well, this yeah. is Des well they're talking about well, Destiny it, 2. Okay, yeah. on Destiny 1, I totally agree with you. Absolutely. When you walk into a new area where it's way high level, it was all question marks, and you're like, you get shot, boom, dead. Yeah, pretty much. Instant but now death. it's like you get shot like twice, you're like almost dead. You're like, okay, I need to back up a little bit, heal. And you grind and you kill that person that's higher level than you. Yeah. Well, see, my whole anger with that, I tried playing the second one. I honestly did. I could not get past that fucking gorge because of the jump system where Tom playing. Hmm. It took me like a fucking hour to try and get past that. And once I did, I was like, oh, you know that, what? I'm done. That it was game as far as well, like... Like as soon as I walked into the cave, I saw them same plebs that I had been fucking up in the last game. And I was like, out. <laughs> well, they didn't change. They didn't change the enemies and the environment's pretty close to the same. It's a different area. Mm -hmm. It's just that they added weapons and they added abilities and they added, I think, an extra character class something. Mm -hmm. Either way, they added they stuff machine, machine. to it. So they added events and things to do. People's biggest complaints were there wasn't enough things to do. Now there's a lot of things to do. You going to take this dick? Either way, we've gone like well beyond <laughs> the time. You gonna take this dick By in like your veg? Twenty minutes we've gone over. Oh no. I know. Oh no. Well, I'm pretty sure there's 20 like twenty minutes. I know there's probably like twenty minutes you can edit out of this. Uh, the first one I edited it out only like about a couple minutes. Really? Yeah. Oh. Because it was all like. Must be good quality shit. <laughs> Like, well, I don't know how. Holy shit, guys! We actually have good usable information. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys want to check out our shit, and, uh, we do have a Twitter. You can go to twitter.com/mythicalnights, and uh, occasionally we'll post crap on there. Um, the most recent thing was about the Renaissance Festival, which was <coughs> like two months ago. But that wasn't two months ago. It was last September. month. Oh, last one. Last Excuse me, dumbass. I'm sorry, God. <laughs> Otherwise, you can head to facebook.com/slash mythical nights. <laughs> Anyways, see you later. See so ya. long, my beautiful bastards. Goodbye. Farewell. We're done. So long, farewell. I'll feed us and goodbye. Oh, God. <laughs> my, my sweatshirt lady's waiting. See ya. Your sweatshirt lady? Special lady. Oh, you're... I heard sweatshirt lady. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so the girl that's going to be stealing your sweatshirts from now on?